We spend a day riding Honda's new roadster, the very handsome CB300R. It could prove to be the shot in the arm for Honda in the 200cc and 400cc space, where the company has been lacking firepower for some time now. Is it worth a buy? Here's what we think. Despite being one of the largest two-wheeler manufacturers in India, Honda never had the kind of presence in the 200 to 400 cc segment like some other manufacturers do. But with the CB300R, things are set to change. It is a beautiful looking motorcycle. It's inspired from the Neo Retro Cafe Racer concept and the sharp lines, the angular lines, the round LED headlamp, and the flat handlebar makes for a very interesting and a very modern take on a classic roadster design. Cast a glance at the motorcycle and you will definitely look back at it for a few seconds. The Honda CB300R is a handsome bike. Its design is inspired by its elder sibling, the Honda CB1000R, which was earlier the Neo Cafe Racer concept. The good part is that the motorcycle gets its share of brawn thanks to the 41mm silver upside down forks and the radiator shroud with a brushed metal finish and blacked out engine and alloys. The looks are a lovely blend of modern and retro designs. Under the retro skin, the CB300R is a modern motorcycle. There is a rectangular LCD display, although readability under the sun is an issue. The black background with light lettering makes it difficult to read info on the move too. Also, there is a non-switchable dual-channel ABS along with an inertial measurement unit which helps keep the rear tyre on tarmac under heavy braking and distributes the braking between the front and the rear effectively. We are also happy to report that the fit and finish on the bike is top-notch. Honda has plonked a 286cc single-cylinder motor in the CB300R which is liquid-cooled and pumps out 30 brake horsepower at 8,000 rpm and 27.4 Nm of torque at 6,500 rpm. Power to the rear wheel is sent via a 6-speed gearbox. As far as cycle parts are concerned, the bike is built around a diamond-type trellis frame and sits on 17-inch alloys shod with Michelin Pilot Street rubber. The motorcycle gets fat, 41mm USD forks up front and a 7-step preload adjustable monoshock at the rear. Up front, the CB300R gets a single 296mm type disc brake without a hub, which is gripped by 4-pot calipers and the rear wheel gets a 220mm petal disc. Thumb the starter and the CB300R starts off with a typical Japanese wine. Sit on it and you will realize that the seat is higher than normal and that's because you sit 800mm off the ground. The moment you sit on the bike and take it off the stand, you immediately feel the lightness of the motorcycle and with a curb weight of 147kg, it is actually a light bike. The other thing that you notice is the rather hard seat. A softer seat would have been welcome. We like how the bike pulls in lower revs, resulting in some seriously quick acceleration. The 286cc single-cylinder engine is liquid-cooled and while it may not be the smoothest, it definitely has a very likeable character. Even as you touch triple-digit speeds, there's plenty more performance to be extracted from the motorcycle and it doesn't feel out of breath. Of course, its petite frame and its like very compact dimensions make for a very nimble and a very agile handling motorcycle and it loves to be thrown into corners. But we do have a grouse or two with this motorcycle. 
the brakes they lack some serious bite that a 300 cc motorcycle ought to have and also the ride quality is slightly on the stiffer side you'll feel all the bumps and the potholes creeping up your spine the one fault which stood out was the braking despite having four piston calipers the bite that a 300 cc bike ought to have is missing on the CB300R the feel is very wooden and it robs you of confidence in case you want to stop in a jiffy the honda cb300r is stylish and with you on it your style quotient goes up a few notches the performance is decent when riding in the city but long distance runs could be a little uncomfortable with a stiff suspension and seat at 2 lakh 41000 rupees It is more affordable than the KTM 390 Duke and the BMW G310R. Should you buy one? If you are looking for good performance, extraordinary looks under three lakh rupees, then yes, definitely. The feature list is adequate for the price as well. But if you want better outright performance, then maybe the alternative would make more sense.